Oh no, it just turned off. Oh, it just turned off again, all right. Today, we're gonna review the Pass Select Climber 3 Full Suspension Electric Mountain Bike. It has a fully integrated display on the handlebars and also a fully integrated 17.5 amp hour 48 volt battery. Now this bike does have three inch wide tires, so it's gonna be definitely a lot more suitable for like trail riding compared to a wider four inch wide tire. Oh shoot. <laughs> definitely gonna be a lot more nimble, likely. Looking at the spec sheet, this looks like a pretty good bike, but let's uh, build it, we'll do a show and tell, then we'll get it out for a ride and do a full review on the Passelite Climber 3. See what's in the box. Pedals, bell, tail light, has a battery, and a manual. Comes with a relatively narrow saddle for mountain biking. And 27 by three inch wide knobby tires. It's got a 180 millimeter slotted and drilled rotor up front. And this is a good sized tire for mountain biking. Same exact disc brake on the rear, 180 millimeter rotor, and they are hydraulic brakes. And a Bafang 500 watt nominal hub motor, rated for 500 watts of continuous output, 750 peak. Passelec branded rear suspension, strong. Passelec. And check it out, the battery is fully integrated into the frame. Although it does look like it'd be possible to get in there. Pass a lake branded fork. Brake levers are definitely set up like mountain bike style. It's got a wide surface area that's nice to grip and a little hook for your finger. So one or two finger brakes. Zoom hydraulic disc brakes, which I've had a lot of good results with these zoom brakes. And check it out, here is the fully integrated display. This is gonna be a pretty sleek looking bike. Ergonomic hand grips. Here's your controls for pedal assist. Thumb throttle on the left. M button down here for modes. Eight gears on the Shimano shifter. Downshift, upshift, downshift, upshift. Right side of the fork has the control to adjust the suspension. Just throw those handlebars on. Sorry about that drill. <laughs> Quick release lever. Quick release lever up front. And check it out, down here on the bottom of the bike, there's a switch to turn the battery on and off. A fuse, and appears to be a key. Operates this thing but gravity is resisting me. Speaking of the battery, let's see what the charger is. Two amp charger, eight gears on the cassette. Definitely looks to be a good setup for some mountain biking. Shimano Altus derailleur. It's got the little guard on here in case you wipe out. And I really wanna know if that battery comes out easily. I mean, I think you're supposed to leave it in there. This is just kind of like, in case something goes wrong. It's got a QR code here. See what it does. Oh, you can uh, register your bike and stuff. Let's check this display out. Man, that's sticky. Yeah, it's just leaving a little bit of a mess. I guess I'll have to clean it. All right, I'll grab some goo gone later, but I'm too excited to get this thing on. All right. So it's actually a super clean aesthetic. Let's see what kind of modes we get. It's really bright. So average speed, max speed, odometer, trip, trip time, and your current speed. So that is actually sweet. Definitely very, very clean look on this dashboard. Let's try the thumb throttle. Oh yeah. Try it out. Showing max speed of 35. No, it cuts you off at 34.9. I mean, will it actually go that fast on the road when there's a load on there? Probably not, but we'll give it a try. All right, let's take the Passelec Climber 3 out for a test ride today. Hopping up on this bike definitely feels like a mountain bike. And that display up there is clean. It's probably flashing on camera. It looks perfect in person. Starting the Strava up so we can track our distance. All right, so first things first, we're gonna take the Passelec Climber 3 up the 20% grade hill climb. See what I can do, under throttle only, pedal assist five, only throttle. Ready, go. Oh, watch out, okay, it came down on me. Can't quite do it under throttle only, but a little bit of a rollout. So with a little bit of a rollout at about five miles an hour, we'll do full throttle now. And yeah, you're gonna have to put a little bit of work of your own in on this bike for climbing super steep hills. Third run here, starting out at about seven miles an hour, we'll do pedaling and that makes all the difference. This bike is geared very nicely so that you can climb 
a steep hill uh, pedaling and helping it. But hey, this is an electric mountain bike. If you're looking for like a cruiser motorcycle to climb steep hills without pedaling, I wouldn't get this bike. But you know, if you're looking for an actual like mountain bike where you're gonna pedal and put in some work on your own. So lucky for me, there's some off-roading trails right back there. Hopefully it's not too wet up there. It's been raining like crazy here in California, but let's go ahead and try out the pedal assist modes. So on pedal assist zero, using the throttle, it doesn't do anything for you. Pedal assist one, let's just see. So it feels like, um, you get access to all the power probably with the thumb throttle using not pedaling. So this is bringing us up to beyond 20, nice, 25-ish. And we're going downhill a little bit. Brake levers feel nice. We got to bet them in a little bit. Pedal assist one will help us up to about 12, 13. Bump it on to pedal assist two. Feel a pretty good boost there. Now we're going about 17. Pedal assist three. Feel another immediate bump up to about 20. Handles nicely. This bike feels great. So these three inch tires handle so much better than like four inch tires. And this thing definitely gets you like kind of more up on the handlebars for, you know, mountain bike position. hit this bump nice full suspension good time to test it you know going like 20 miles an hour pedal assist four brings it about 25 and then pedal assist five brings us to about 27 you can probably hit 28 just go through the mud here That's pretty good. So I'm riding with the seat a little bit lower than I normally would be just camera angle wise for you guys. But here's where the seat is pretty low. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just throw it up on max. And that brings it up to about level with the handlebars. At six foot five, here's what my pedal stroke looks like. Might be slightly too small for somebody who is like six five. Oh yeah, hit a little bit of trails. So the full suspension and the riding position of this bike definitely very mountain bike like feel to it full suspension makes all the difference for you know mountain bike and like riding and trails and stuff obviously the rear suspension on this is actually relatively stiff like oh oh shoot <laughs> hit that at the wrong angle i'm not used to riding over here this bike is uh not that heavy really like you know a heavier fat tire bike i might have like lost control doing something like that but I was able to catch it. I'm really curious how much this bike actually weighs. 201 to 59.2. So that'd put this bike at what? About 58 pounds. Pedal assist three. So, I mean, that's a pretty decently steep hill. Throttle. There we go. Having fun on this thing, that's for sure. Oh no, it just turned off. All right, don't know what happened there. Turn right back on. Let's go. So let me play with the suspension a little bit here. I'm gonna put it down all the way to the softest. I think that might've bottomed out a little there. It's a little too soft. Let me uh, crank it back up. Road closed. What? Wow. Yeah, speaking of rain, check that out. It's like a collapse going on up there of a cliffside. Definitely getting this thing a little bit dirty. This is a lot of fun though. I, I normally don't do a lot of mountain biking other than on the Saran. Suspension, I think it bottomed out. I need to firm it up a little more probably. So I gotta say, um, I'm liking the tires on this bike, the three inch wide tires. It's like an excellent balance of you know like not too excessively wide but like they're a good like width for like riding stuff like this so let's put this thing through a pretty serious hill pass now this is not extreme oh oh shoot it's it's pretty steep i'm gonna downshift and use i'm on pedal assist too i don't know if changing the pedal assist is changing how much power it's giving me right now or not i'll just leave it on pedal assist five and I'm helping it just a little bit. This is a pretty long, relatively steep hill. I 
think it's getting steeper. Oh, the motor just stopped helping me. All right. I got tired or something. Yeah. Okay. This is too much hill. Beautiful flowers though. So, I mean, that, that's the hill we just did. Um, okay. Guess we'll uh, just wait. Let me give it like a little push here. No, it's not helping me. All right, it's gonna need to take a break for a minute or something. Let me turn it off and back on. All right, so I just turn it off, back on. Oh, there it goes, okay. I'll put it on Palace's one. Little throttle off the line. And Palace's one, we're back in business. I mean, it kind of just turned off for like maybe a minute. But this thing, it definitely has a good granny gear for climbing. Eight miles, oh, it turned off again, okay. So if you wanna be doing like a lot of hill climbing, this might not be the one for you, but we were just down on that road and we're doing some like the trail riding and then, and then came over here to the hill. All right, let's try it again. Oh, there we go, back in business again. All right, so it, the controller is probably overheating or the battery is giving out. Oh, it just turned off again, all right. So yeah, the controller is just getting way too hot or something. I'm just gonna pedal up the rest of this with no assistance. Um, riding an e-bike when you don't have battery or assistance is not fun, especially uphill. <laughs> but I just wanna get to the very top so I can show you. So yeah, motor cut out on me a couple times going up this hill, which was pretty challenging, honestly. But just know if you're planning on doing like a ton of hill climbing, this probably isn't gonna be the one for you. So what happens on these bikes is they'll, they'll cut you off. Brakes are great though. Um, they'll cut you off so you don't damage the bike. You don't wanna overheat the controller. Let's see how it feels on a speed bump. I'm gonna stay sitting down. Yeah, I mean, full suspension. A little jump. Nice. <laughs> so it'll go on oh, 28. You know, actually pedaling at 28, the gears seem fine. And it's definitely the kind of bike you can get some exercise in on. Like this thing just makes you want to pedal. Get a little bit of bob because it is full suspension. Well, let's see what the bike can do. Zero to top speed under its own acceleration only. Throttle only. I weigh 200 pounds. Ready, go. Throttle kicks in right away. Power eases on gently. Eight, 10, 13, 15, 17, 20. It will accelerate you beyond 20 under throttle only. 23. The only right thing to do is to race this motorcycle next to us. <laughs> Gotta love it. Yeah. Right, out here on the beach, let's check out the pedal assist lag. Um, so not pedaling, pedaling, power up. Not pedaling, pedaling, power. Not much, quarter second to half second, which is pretty normal. So I'm really curious if this thing can like ride through the sand up this hill. It's gonna be quite a challenge, but let's give it a try. Yep, probably. Downshift one more. We got it, there we go, nice. Let's try a little bit of trail riding by the beach. Pedal assist one, I'm gonna bump it on to Pedal assist three. I can do the sand to some degree. Not as good as four inch tires, but definitely a lot more nimble than four inch tires. Check the accuracy of the speedometer. Uh, GPS in my right hand showing uh, basically the same thing on both. So after 11 miles and an hour of riding, honestly pretty intense riding, kind of doing that off-road trail and going uphill. I just shot, I just saw it show four out of five bars. So, and we do have to try the California incline up here. I'm really curious about that. Uh, long, steady incline hill performance of this bike. And then, you know, it is a 17.5 amp hour battery pack, which is pretty big on a relatively light bike, really. Let's try this hill real quick. I'll leave it on pedal assist two. Rolling in at 12, a little bit of help. Let's 
see what it'll do. Pedal assist two. Down shifting down to one. Going six miles an hour. And it's still pulling. All right, so now we gotta try the California incline, the long gradual incline. All right, so pedal assist two rolling into the loop-de-loop, -loop, 15 miles an hour. Uh, down shifting, down shifting. We are in gear one. I mean, this feels excellent. It's like motor's helping me out. So we'll just keep it rolling here. This is a long gradual incline. Motor's gonna be working the whole time. Hopefully it doesn't die out on us. Still cranking along just fine, 12 miles an hour. Still going strong, still going strong. Conquered that hill just fine. There's what we just did. We are just down there on the bike path. I don't normally do the California incline twice, but I'm actually gonna do it twice just because of uh, the motor cutout problem we had earlier. I'm gonna try this under um, throttle only now. It's handling it though, for sure. I mean, it's uh, 14 miles an hour, still gaining speed. 15 almost miles an hour. So maybe just what we were doing earlier was a little bit outside of its capabilities. However, I'd have to say this bike is performing just as good as any other bike I review on this channel with a similar motor and battery layout. All right, time to do a brake test from 20 now. Really, really good brakes. Hydraulic 180 millimeter rotors on a bike that does not weigh nearly as much as some of the bikes that they put these same exact brakes on. Here we go, 19. Oh yeah, front tire locked up, yeah. So these brakes, uh, they got all the stop and power you need. Just gotta be careful not to squeeze them too hard. Oh, what happened there? Something's rubbing. Dude, that literally gripped the front tire so hard, it just caused like the whole thing to like uh, rotate. That's crazy. I'm gonna need to realign the wheel here. There, that's a little tighter. It's all good now. All right, we're gonna do one more brake test after that last one. Here we go, from 20. Yep. Same thing again though caused the wheel to rotate again a little bit there. The whole thing's angled a little bit to one side. Put it even tighter. I don't think it's possible to even put it too much tighter. I mean, that was some very hard braking conditions. Like I was basically maxing the brakes out there, uh, but that, that is what happened. All right, guys, let me leave you with my final thoughts on the Passelec Climber 3. So I've been out on this thing for 17.75 miles it has three out of five bars remaining so in general that 17.5 amp hour battery pack is relatively large and it's going to give you some pretty good range so this bike is listed for two thousand two hundred dollars on sale for just a dollar under two grand right now now considering the price and what you get you know that rear hub motor 750 watt fairly torquey nice ride full suspension you know you got the rear suspension front suspension and it does have good hydraulic brakes it's got a really really fresh, clean looking display integrated into the handlebars. And it's got a throttle and all around for some light trail riding. I think this is a bike that makes pretty good sense and is pretty good for like light trail riding and light use mountain bike. Now, if you need to do some long steep hill climbs, we saw that I did run into some problems with the motor cutting out on me when I attempted to do a long steep hill climb. And also the big issue I ran into on this bike was the front brake. When I was doing very hard front braking, the, the wheel would uh, just kind of tilt all the way over to the side and kind of come out of alignment. So keep in mind, both of those use cases on this bike were pretty extreme and probably outside of what you'd be doing under normal riding. But based on those two things happening, I wouldn't buy this bike if your intention is to do some extreme trail riding. On the other hand, if you're looking for a bike that looks cool and performs pretty darn good for light trail riding and street riding, this bike definitely ticks the boxes for those things. If you do want to grab one, you can click the link below this video and any discount I can offer you will be down in the description box. However, if this is not the bike you're looking for, you can watch this video next. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.